Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this video is to show you how to make Picasso backups by month, making a new backup set for each month. Store you need to store your pictures by month for this to work. That's my system. You may have something different, and then you burn it to a CD or DVD and store them for years to come. If you use this system, please have some kind of reminder and do it. Any system is only as good as you actually do it. I took a look at my backups the other day and noticed that they ended in December of 2009. And uh-oh, this is now almost the end of March. So it's I better do my January and February backups. And I'll record this video to show you how. Here I am in Picasa. And notice, first of all, that I store my pictures by month. I am looking at the tree folder view, so this is actually seeing the folders as they exist on my computer. Here is pictures, and within pictures I have 201003. That's my notation for March of 2010. And here I have 201002, that would be February, and here is 01, January. So how do I back them up? I need to back up January first. Tools, and backup pictures and now you get this option these options down at the bottom first of all I love this feature it tells me that oh I am backing up 206 files 790 megabytes which would take two CDs or one DVD well this is probably the fewest amount of pictures I've ever taken in a month so I know that I always need DVDs and that's what I have on hand now, second of all, notice the last time I backed up, I was working with a set called 2009. I backed up all of my pictures for 2009. So I need to make a new set in order to back up just January. Click on New Set, and I will call it 201001. I am going to back up to CD or DVD. Notice that Picasa does allow you to back up to external hard drives as well, but that's just not what I'm doing at this time. Files to back up, all file types, meaning if there were some videos included in this month's folder, they would get backed up too. Yes, that's what I want. All right, so now that I have my set created, I can tell it which folders and albums to back up. Notice that the folder that I was currently selected uh, is already checked. These checkboxes open up. But since this is a small month, I think I'll get these extra things as well. The exported videos and screen captures and this folder called Maps that I made. But as long as I get this January folder, I know that I will have backed up all the pictures that I took during January because I make sure that they go into that folder. I'm still working on just one DVD, so I'm good to go. I have a DVD in the DVD drive already. I use the DVD-Rs and I click Burn. Preparing files, preparing to write. So here we are about two-thirds of the way done and it has taken a little over four minutes so far. So be patient during this part. So that took a little over six minutes uh, to to complete. And now it is finished, and you have the option of ejecting the CD or show CD. Now, I usually eject it, but then immediately take the disk to my husband's computer and put it in the disk drive and see if it works. There's nothing worse than thinking you have a good backup and something went wrong and the disk isn't good. Or if you don't have another computer to take it to, then I would recommend using the show CD. You just want to make sure that there is something on there. I'm going to eject this CD because now I want to make a backup of the next months. So now I'm putting another DVD in the drive and I'll just cancel this pop-up that comes up because I don't need Windows to burn the files to disk. I'm going to use Picasa to do that, so I'll just click the X, and I'm going to Tools and Backup Pictures, and same thing, I need another new set. This one will be 201002, and it is to CD or DVD, all file types, Create, and I don't want 201001 checked, I want 
February's files checks. It tells me that there's 278 files, 719. It would take two CDs or one DVD. I have a DVD in the drive, and I click Burn. And then this is going to go through the same process that the last one did. With this disk, I'm going to show you how I check it. So instead of eject CD, I'm going to say show CD. And a Picasa backup disk, when you insert it into a drive, will want to do a restore. So that's not what I'm... I don't want to do a restore. I just want to check and see that the pictures are indeed on this disk. So I'm going to cancel where it says restore. And I'm going to go to my computer. Here is the backup disk. Picasa CD. Now if I just double click on it, it's also going to try to restore. So what I want is right click. XP and Vista, you'll see an explore in here. In Windows 7, it is open. And here is the contents of the disk. There's a bunch of special stuff here for Picasa to do its restore, but what I want to see is just this My Pictures. So double click on My Pictures. There is 201002, the folder that I just backed up and there indeed are all my pictures and I can even see them if I go into icon view. And that is Picasso's backup, making a new backup set for each month. There's lots more to learn with tutorial videos at geeksontour.com. <laughs>